Hi, Mandy Elmore here with my son Simon. And we're going to show you Simon's current top five favorite books. And this one is The Wind Up Tractor. So go ahead. What are you doing, Simon? Uh oh. Oh, yep. Yep. So this one comes with a tractor that, that you wind up. And it also has a lot of all these little figurines that pop out and you stick together. And you set the tractor on his track and he gets to spin around. And he crashes through the fence Until and into the pond. This is Simon's favorite page. Yep, the pond. There are four different tracks and each track comes with their own set of pop-out characters. And this is one of the wind-up books. We also have pull-back books, and they come in a lot of other different vehicles. Cars, helicopters, pirate ship, and there's even a ladybug. So this is <gasps> Can you get the ladybug? <laughs> Maybe sometime. Okay, we're going to move on to book number two. It says five-minute bedtime stories. And Simon, which is your favorite story that we've read so far? Let me look. And this truly is just little quick little stories and they're all about dog and cat and their friends turtle and tiger so it has repeating characters so I want this one so your kids get to do this is called little tiger and the island and this is we just got this book recently, and we read almost the whole book in one night, so Simon really enjoys this one. We also have one for a little bit older kids that's called 10 Minute Bedtime Stories, but we highly recommend this one, and it's definitely one of Simon's favorites right now. Why don't you read it? Um, we'll move on to the third one. What is this one? Amazing. Wipe clean. And every wipe uh -uh. clean book comes with its okay. It's okay. Comes with its own marker. And this one is the mazes. There are wipe clean letters and numbers, math, first writing, first drawing. And this one Get cat down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about the white clean books, Simon? That they can do it again and again. Whoops. Why did you have to go back there? Because I forgot a word. Yeah, so the mazes. Not only do they have mazes, but they also have other activities that they try to do. For this one, they had to find all the worms on their way to, okay, through the maze. Okay, now unwipe it. We'll wipe it. We'll wipe them off. Dad, let's do the next one. Number four right now is used to be on his his top list too, and it's for shine a light books. And this uh -oh, one, uh -oh. it's okay. They can still see. This one is shine a light on the construction Let site. See. And I'll read the first page. Okay. This first page here says, People will live in this skyscraper when it is finished. Can you see the plans? Can you see the plans, Simon, right now? Can you see the plans? No. No? All right. Let's see what happens when we shine the light behind it. We shine the light behind it, and you can see the building. Okay. But how do we get, like, far? You go through the whole book, and so it's informative, and kids get to see when we shine that one. Let's see what's in the dump truck. These are great for building a fort, taking your flashlights in, for sleepovers or for family time. 
for camping. This would be fun to take camping. Not in the bed. All right. I'll go to number five. What's number five called, Sunny? What's your, what's your other favorite book? Mm, Nibbles and Match. Nibbles. Nibbles the book monster. So Nibbles is this little yellow guy. He even mm. comes. You can also get a plush character of Nibbles. We don't have that one right now, but it's on our wish list. This is all about this monster called Nibbles. Nibbles. And he, where is he? He's inside of a crate. He's inside of a crate, and then when you open it, he, he, he ate out of the crate, but when he can get out. And Nibbles, it starts off, he's in his own book, and it tells everything that Nibbles likes to nibble on. And his very favorite thing to nibble on is... Books. <laughs> and Nibbles jumps out of his own book and finds his way... Is he hiding? Finds his way into Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So then inside of his book, there's another little book, and he goes through Goldilocks and even eats his way out of there and into Little Red Riding Hood. And he eats his way out of this book into one more Jack and the Beanstalk. Until and then they caught him again. Until they eat his way open. Let's eat see. his way open and then he gets out. Does he get out again? <gasps> nibble, nibble, nibble. <gasps> Where has mm. Nibbles gone? Well, thank you for joining us to see Simon's top five favorites.